well today, I have a guest. Hello. <laughs> and his name is Chigozi. Did I'm Chigozi. <laughs> I, I told almost. I think it's fine. Can you say my name? Kiki. Uh, <laughs> see, my nickname is already wrong. <laughs> my real name, I told you my real Kiani. name. Kiani. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Okay, I'm sorry then. <laughs> now I owe you apologies. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> I'm Chigo Z, but you can call me Cozy, like the Beyonce song. Uh, I'm 22 years old from the Lord's year of 2000. Uh, I'm Dutch, Nigerian, Indonesian. I've been living in Amsterdam for five years now. Um, yeah, I, I'm like a digital nerd, kind of. So I study communication with media and stuff and data analytics. What's the image that you want people to have from you? Mm. I would like people to think he's like nice and warm and loving and like caring, but also kind of like a smart bitch. Um, okay, what's your star sign? <laughs> I'm a Gemini. Of course, <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> like that, that shines on you. I was like not hiding it. Of the room, I was like, mm, that's a Gemini. All 22 of us walk into the room at the same time every year. Like, you know, it's like cerebrus, I grow a new head. <laughs> it's a Greek tragedy. Well, uh, me as a Pisces, I feel a little like ah! it's nice to have Gemini people <laughs> around, but it's always kind of scary because Gemini people, like, they, they are good manipulating Pisces people, in my opinion. They are very good. My mother is a Gemini. My brother is a Gemini. All my uncles and aunties are Gemini. So. Yeah, I feel like. Gemini's, you know, we feel that the other star signs are a little bit afraid of us, so we need to like make a coalition of star signs. So we just, oh, we're just, you know, cool and in the middle and like not dangerous at all. Oh my god, I feel so that's why we keep Scorpios close and Pisces close because then we're like, see, we're just you know, I want people. To make some star signs are less people than others, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> But I would like to make a Leos point. are not people. So what? Leos are not people. Honestly, like... And they don't think they're here? people. They is think it? they are sons oh, of God. Oh, of course. Huh? Of course. Okay, Leo. <laughs> but he's behind the camera this time, actually. He is Jesus reincarnated. <laughs> yeah. But, well, we have our DOP, who's a Leo. But until now, he's a nice person. And he's not in front of the camera right now, so it's the right start, I think. He's in the position of power. But also Scorpios. I Scorpios are... Uh, oh, no. I, I'm going to a birthday of a Scorpio today, actually. Uh, and it's my favorite Scorpio in the universe, so... Because, I mean, my ex is a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> and she is, like... <laughs> she's, like... I, I, I love her as a person, but... I, I mean, she likes revenge. But who doesn't love a revenge plot? Like a yeah. good revenge plot? Well, she's mean though. <laughs> and my other ex is Gemini. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> and now, it's, 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 the funny thing is now I'm dating a Pisces, so <laughs> it's drama all the way. No, you're just like two fish, like yin and yang. Hey, if it was like You know, yang, like Avatar be... in, the, in the moon. Never mind, I'm just going to. <laughs> so I would like to make a comment. I would like to say that. The host of the other show gave my makeup today, and I would like to thank him for making it look like a Brazilian meme. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See the face that he's making. Like <laughs> Let's start with the questions, though. So, first of all, I would like to ask you if you had to choose an animal, mm -hmm. which animal would it be? To be, or to have, or to, to be. eat? To be. Okay. I would like to be a hippo today. Today? Yeah. But not always. Like a Nile horse. You know? Yeah, but not always. I'm a Gemini. I, I want to be something else every day. <laughs> Honestly. You know, sometimes I feel like an ostrich. Often I feel like a peacock. So today you're feeling like... A Nile hippo. horse. Yeah. Like a hippopotamus. Okay. Okay. Deadly, what, but what cute. Makes it in, okay. Deadly, but cute. Yeah, they are actually kind of cute. Yeah, like you want to pet them, but if you do, 
you better say you goodbye know. to your hand. Can I ask the question back to you? Yes. What animal would you want to be today? I love that we have three interviewers today. <laughs> I would be for sure a bird because I like the idea of flying wherever I want. I want. I'm when it's cold in a country, I don't live it. <laughs> and today you could turn into a bird with beautiful feathers. <laughs> <laughs> It's giving rainforest realness. But I like, I don't know how it's called in English, Arara. It's a Brazilian bird. Have you seen it? Really? It's like has red and I don't blue. think I know it specifically, but I think it's we have a Dutch colorful. word for it, Paradise Fojo. So it's just like any kind of Is it like tropical parrot? bird that's not necessarily a parrot, but has beautiful big feathers and stuff. And, okay. you know, looks like paradise. That's, looks like That's interesting to have a word for a tropical bird. I mean, I think it's a word for a specific, but like we call all kinds of birds paradise folk. So it's like. It's also, how do you say that? Like a paradise bird. How do you say that? Paradise vogel. Paradise vogel. Vogel. Did you say it correctly? Yes. Yes, see? My Dutch is getting better. By the day, it will happen one day. I'll, have a, I'll, I'll speak good Dutch one day. So, now. Um, I would like you to tell me what, who was your first celebrity crush? Oh, I love that question. Wait. And the last one would be nice as well. But first, the first. Go back into my youth. Um, Danny Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> I had a big crush on Danny Phantom. I really did. Oh and I think it's like funny because now I have so many men that go speak. <laughs> <laughs> So, manifestation works, y'all. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Did that answer your question? It was a good answer. <laughs> it was definitely a good answer. It's Thank not you. the last crush I had on a cartoon either, so. Uh, honestly, I kind of understand. I liked the, uh, when I was like kid, I think like I had a few characters. But now celebrity, like human Celebrity, being. human, flesh and blood. Recent, oldest? The first one. The first, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> See, I was not a One Direction person per se, but I did always crush on Harry Styles. Oh my God, that tells us his age. <laughs> like, that tells that we are different generations <laughs> right now. Because I'm a 96. And like One Direction, I was already like, I don't know, 17, 18 when it was like... I know, I was a cute tween. You were what, sorry? Like a tween, you know, like... Mm. Not yet a girl, <laughs> almost a woman, I don't know. But, um, I mean, I kind of like my first crush, celebrity crush, was also kind of like same vibe as One Direction, because it was Nick Jonas. Oh, see, I also think that very much fits in the same category, category yeah, as Harry Styles. Different. Any oh, blown, blown, blown. can I change my answer as yes. well? Jaden Smith in the first Karate Kid, and I was an appropriate age to crush on him at that age. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> We've been growing up together but, uh, in I, my head. <laughs> how old is he? Like, I think like one or two years older than me. Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not bad. <laughs> See, that's the thing, Jane Smith is still a celebrity crush, <laughs> and Harry Styles is as well, but like my latest, like new, like fresh. Oh, um, I went to his concert this week, Lil Nas X. Like, oh, I saw in your story. Yeah, no, he needs to like it, pick me up out of this gutter. <laughs> Was it here? And like, yeah. I just, I just want to be a doll in his dollhouse. <laughs> and was it here in Amsterdam? Here yeah. There? And the dancers were amazing, and the show was amazing, yeah. and just it was so nice and so gay and so Amen. free it's been and a happy. Long time I don't go to a concert, so I've been missing that. And I, I mean, I've been to a show lately, which was a uh, Santi mm -hmm. at the Lagerbeek Street Mall. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Oh, wait, who? Uh, Santi. Maybe my Spotify does, but it doesn't ring a bell now. Yeah, I went to his show, but it was very small and cozy. 
I see what you did there. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Sorry. But it was kind of like nice, but still it was not like a full concert, like a big, sorry, a big thing. Um, <laughs> like uh, probably we don't have, we didn't have that here because it was probably a big, big concert. So yeah, yeah, I've been missing that like since before COVID. I think like my last concert was Beyonce and Jay Z, which is already great. We were there here in Amsterdam. No, it was oh. in uh, Milan. I was living in Italy before. I w that was my first Beyonce concert, and I, I went, I had the, like the cheapest f ticket. I was like all the way in the back, but never it forget. It was incredible, it yeah. was like, wow. And it reminded me of that, going to Lil Nas X, because like, I had to stand in line the same way, like a Beyonce concert, like it was really a line that went on for like 200 meters. I was like, whoa. And, and then also like the choreography. <laughs> Storytelling. He so definitely cool. looked into her book. It, it was like incredible, incredible. I think like the biggest two concerts that I've been to, Lady Gaga and Beyonce. You couldn't even see Lady Gaga from the far from so oh. far that much, but still like seeing the whole thing and it was the Monkey Ball tour. Well, so. my my husband, uh, <laughs> uh, he did that very well. Like even in the back, you could really oh, his see husband, the show. <laughs> Like he really made sure okay, Lil, Lil all of us were able to enjoy Lil the show X together. Or Frank Ocean, because I go for Frank Ocean, obviously. Uh, I'll go for Frank Ocean because I, I feel know. like <laughs> I feel like <laughs> my crush Lil Nas is like. Also still young, you know, and still busy doing everything. I think He's Ocean boy, is probably. like... Frank Ocean is more sentimental, I think. I think that Frank Ocean is the type of person who can take care of you and cry when you go to work. So. Very that, you know, like it's fall right now, winter, I want Frank Ocean. <laughs> In the summer though, I want Lil Nas X. Oh, okay, okay. Um, maybe you can work with that. Honestly, if I can be with any of them, I would love that clout so I can inv invite a third. I mean, I think it's I'm open. Option, like, yeah. I don't know, I just get like the vibes from Frank Ocean that is like more like caring and more like, I mean, his lyrics and everything. You can like think, mm, he's such a baby. He's such a cute baby. But you know what the doubt comes from? My doubt is like, Frank Ocean, you know, you never hear anything of him. So then. That's if I was with Frank Ocean, you would never know. <laughs> Maybe you are Iron Man and I don't know. <laughs> See? And then I don't know if I'd like that. I'm not discreet enough maybe to be with Frank Ocean. And that's the nice thing about Lil Nas X. It's not necessarily all about that discretion. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And uh, Frank Ocean, I mean, he's been like kind of like disappeared lately. Like honestly, me I mean, didn't want to say it, you know. Me but. as a fan, I would like to say, <coughs> Why there's no album out? Like honestly, I've been waiting for years already. I am getting See, I say that and I am ready for new music, but I will put on um, Channel Orange right now and just be happy. Honestly. So that's the, <laughs> you know, it's like I can say anything I want, but these artists, they're like, you know what I have out there is good. You know, I'm good exactly. for it. <laughs> I have a lot of things going through my head right now because there's some big artists that I've gone like reattached to recently but then there's also and I, I mean I wouldn't say it's a small artist but like an artist that's you know just been consistently been wooing me for the past like year so I'm just happy to see where they're going Who? Um, like CK and just um, Sampa the Great, like just never, there's, like they're not huge, but they're like African artists that are definitely like, they have their lane and I, they never disappoint. Like my body will always react to their tunes. 
Um, but then I've also been getting reattached to Taylor Swift right, recently. Yeah. See, I don't. I'm sorry, okay, you can come to the phone right now. Why? I want to get to that. <laughs> what you make me do. See, and that was the last time I was also like, that's already a while ago, right? Yeah. That yeah, song, yeah. that era. And no, that song I actually understood like why people liked her a little bit. And I was into that. The Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> See, and that like when I was that age, like a baby, yeah, yeah. like it's the last time we had a female and a female. I mean, so you know, like she's just consistent. She's been there. She puts out stuff. It's not always my gig, but it's not. When I was like. That I respect age. the grind. The, what's it called, the night that the kids go in high school in the United States? Like prom? Like prom, yes, dress to prom. And my country, we do not have this, like, what the hell, you I've know? never been to prom. It's a movie thing, so it's like, oh, the American <laughs> dream to actually be in a prom and be well-dressed in a beautiful gown and, like, with a beautiful guy by your side. Which most likely wouldn't mean be, be me in high school, because I was kind of a loser in high school, honestly. <laughs> But now I'm here, a little princess. Winning. For you guys. <laughs> Driving. But I actually wanted to mention one more artist. It's a Dutch artist. And she was um, also our send-in for Eurovision last year, as team. Um, I think she's excellent. I think she's great. I think she's so good at what she does. And she just had a new album. So listened to that a lot. Honestly, well, me neither, because, I mean, my crush was Nick Jonas and Akon. See, so. you know, like types, I, I believe in types, you know, plural. Like, I think a person definitely has patterns, you know, like, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a person. Well, okay. Facts, I but uh, I have types, you know, because sometimes I like to be Sometimes I like to be bigger, sometimes I like to be older, sometimes I like to be younger, sometimes I like to be smaller, sometimes I like to be on top, and sometimes I like to be on the bottom, you know? I just, I'm a Gemini. Yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you don't have it, when you don't know what to say, you just say that you are a Gemini. You, you blame it on your star sign, obviously. I mean, but... Uh, you should see my, you should see my chart, girl. It speaks for itself. <laughs> It's a mess. <laughs> Same <though>. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Dinner everywhere. <laughs> Around the globe. But I definitely have a weakness for like, you know, tall, skinny guys with brown hair and brown eyes. And that goes across, you know, yeah, the ethnicities. I get yeah. I get that. I mean, I understand the part of being tall. Definitely a plus in my opinion as well. And I don't know, like I also think that I do not have a type, but if you actually look, even like there was one Asian, one European, one African in my whole like dating story, if you actually look, they are all like brown eyes, brown hair, curly, coily hair. None of them have like straight hair, none of them are blonde, none of them have green eyes or blue eyes. So there is a little pattern, even if it's so different. Choose a famous person to crash into your party. It's not like a short, person. short comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Emmanuel. <this> Hello. <laughs> He's invited to my party whenever he wants to. The party today. Is yes. Like, anyway. <laughs> yes, he can party with me. He's talking about your guest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I love a funny man, yeah. He mm. loves a funny man. But, like, <laughs> other celebrities, like, oh, um, Stormzy needs to crush my party, yeah, actually. It's, it's more not like, okay, I, uh, I want him to, I'm counting on it. It's not like, I want this person to crush into my party because I like this person, but because this person has a nice vibe to be in my party. Yeah, no, exactly. I think Stormzy will be, like, so, like, he will crush the party. 
you will probably bring expensive booze just to say like, oh, you know, I didn't call ahead, but I'm here. And he will just, you know, and he will bring the party as well. You know, everyone will, of course, be like, oh, my God, he's so kind. It's Stormzy's. Oh, my God. Wow. And like, then we can perform and then we can hug and like, I don't know, like share, share a pint or something. And like, it will be the best memory of my life. Again, just like this big man with brown eyes. <laughs> I want him to crash my party and it will literally be the best experience. Okay, I get that. Um, I will have food there for him. Oh, you, but you don't I will know cook. that he's coming to the party. You will cook when he gets there. I will, yes, and yes. What do you like to cook? What would you cook for him? Um, if, like, if I knew that Stormzy was going to crash my party, I would definitely like have a big pan of my homemade jollof ready. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Yeah, just as a reserve. Yeah, sounds good, sounds tasty. What do you like to cook in general, like in general life? What type of food do you like to cook? Like your go for like, okay, I'm gonna cook this. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff I like cooking, but definitely as a student, I'm like a pasta culinary expert. Pasta is like the easy... No, but see, I like to make it hard for myself when I'm making pasta. Like, yeah, it needs to be a challenge. Thing. Here's the thing. Like, you need to understand my side. You, as a half Dutch man, I have a very hard time in trusting the pasta coming from the Netherlands. <laughs> you want to try my... Spaghetti, quattro fromaggi, scampi, it's great. See, he's talking about pasta, which is an Italian dish with French accent. That's already wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good and Guys, he created put some his fresh own culinary. Put some fresh thyme in there. Yeah. It sounds some good pepper. Though, I'm not gonna lie, I like four cheese, so and I'm like sure shrimp. Thing. But there is a very nice Brazilian dish that is with shrimp, and I am able to eat the dish. I just leave the shrimp aside, and it's very, very good. It tastes coconut milk, and I love milk. The coconut mm. milk is just... It's like, not paella, but like something like that. It's a coconut milk with a fish and uh, peppers. Um, it's like kind mm. of like a pepper stew with, mm -hmm. the, uh, with the coconut milk and the fish, and it's kind of like a fish stew as well. So oh, this does sound good. It's, it's very nice and it's with coconut milk and I love the use of coconut milk in food. So yeah, I do too. I think it's very nice. And, um, but what I try to cook is just see like what you're saying, not basic food. You know, it doesn't sound basic. Yeah. Sometimes I eat basic Dutch food, but I just try to challenge myself to like That's make it nice. a little... I like to cook as well. So je ne fais quoi. I like to cook as well, so I always try to experiment a little bit. Uh, but I feel like, like, I lived in Italy, and I feel like living in Italy actually, like, disturbed a little bit my, my, my view on Italian food. So every time I see someone cooking Italian food wrong, I feel a little like, eh, what are you doing? Stop that, stop. <laughs> don't do that. It's like, it, no, like, please, no, just, just don't try. Like, if I go to someone's house and they say, I, they, I'm cooking pasta, I'm like, I eat home. I eat at home. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, like I, I'm really sorry. My mother cooks. My mother doesn't, doesn't hear me. My mother cooks some like very nice homemade meal. I couldn't say no. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So every time someone calls me sweet pasta, I am like kind of concerned. But that was Italy because before Italy, I was not like that about pasta. You know, it's just Italians made up food everywhere. So they just give it to me. They just give it to me. So I was reintroduced into maybe tofu but like making it well making it good making it like tasty and crunchy and like i didn't know how to do that someone teach me now i feel like wow i i mean i have never actually tried good tofu it's if nice i'm being honest so maybe one, one day you can teach me i would love to learn that okay and just talking about food yes <laughs> and the next thing that i would like to do with you is to talk 
uh, I need you to give me wrong answers. Okay. So you will not say the right thing on what you actually do. I just need wrong answers. Wrong answers only. Wrong answers only. Wrong answers only. So uh, first thing is, how mm -hmm. do you open your door? With my left foot. How do you do that? Well, like, I have great balance. I'm a skater. Also, next uh, question. How do you make the bus stop? Is wrong answer this year. Um, well, with your ass in the street, of course. So you put your ass to the street side, you know, so the bus is coming from here. Then, like, you know, I do that. This is just fear. Okay, that's perfect. I think that's, that's, that's a good way to, to do it. And how do you tie your shoelaces? I don't. Yeah, but I can see they are, they are tied. I haven't tied these shoelaces in more than half a year. I just put my foot in the shoe. Oh, okay. That's Fish not, and see. <laughs> that's not really a wrong answer. Work smarter, not harder, I'm lady. Take it. <laughs> not the best wrong answer. But it's okay, I'll take it. It's a truthful wrong answer. Give me a very, very toxic... Um, yeah, no, I can do that. I can do that. Toxic advice in relationships. <laughs> Your best one. How should I treat my boyfriend? Mm. I think it's never too early to, you know, prepare for what's next. Have to leave some message to the world right now, or to whoever is watching. Um, sure, Lil Nas X, call me both. Frank Ocean, I think you're busy, but you and Stormzy can crash my party anytime. And Honestly, you can crash um, mine as well, I don't mind. And Esteem, I think you did great last year, so. That's it. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching and see you next time.